Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Sephora VIB sale wish list. So if that sounds good to you, then let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, welcome to today's video. Um, if you are new here, my name is Sarah and I am a wife and a mother and in my free time that I don't really have, <laughs> I like to play with makeup. And the Sephora sale is coming up soon and I was kind of going through my loves list, kind of seeing what I had on there um, and also going through like the new arrivals list and kind of curating what I would purchase for this sale. So I thought it would be fun to share what's on my wish list for the sale. Now the sale starts on April 9th. Rouge members get 20% off, VIB members get 15% off, and Insider members get 10% off. And the sale starts on April 9th and runs through April 19th. And I'll have all of that information down in the description box for you in case you haven't seen that yet. I kind of decided when they did this sale, like around the fall winter time, that I didn't know if I would continue to purchase from this sale because I am only a VIB member, so I only get 15% off. And honestly, that is not a discount. That is seriously not a discount. Like they have sales throughout the year that are 20% for everybody. Um, so sometimes it's hard for me to justify purchasing during the sale when I only get 15%. But for the sake of the video, I just want to share with you what I have on my list. I'm going to scoot over a tiny bit so I can put up some pictures right here. If you follow me on Instagram or have watched my videos before, this product is probably going to shock you, honestly, because it shocks me as well. Um, and the first product that I have on my wish list is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Hydrating Foundation Balm. <laughs> if you've watched my videos before, have you ever heard me talk about a foundation balm or a cream product that I'm like interested in? No, because typically these are the products that I do not go for, but I have seen some reviews on this new foundation and I need it. It is a buildable full coverage hydrating foundation balm with a lightweight long wear formula and a fresh matte finish in fully recyclable packaging. And this product is KVD's version of their Locket foundation, but in a cream form meant for dry to normal skin types, um, which is me. I have very dry skin, but I still love a matte finish, but like not too matte, but not too radiant. So, <laughs> so this sounds like up my alley, which kind of shocks me because I do not like cream products. I am not a cream product person. Um, so this is really shocking to me, but I've seen some reviews already on YouTube from Manny MUA and Morgan Turner and their skin looks beautiful. So I'm definitely interested in this. Um, it is $38, which is pricey. Um, if you look at the picture on Sephora, the packaging is recyclable, so there's not going to be a mirror in there. So it is more of a pricey product. It's got apple extract in it, which is supposed to nourish the skin, and sodium hyaluronate, which is supposed to hydrate the skin. So this is definitely something that I want to try that I'm super curious about. Um, so yeah, if I was going to purchase from the Sephora sale, this one would definitely be the first thing <laughs> I'd put in my cart. Okay, so the next product on my wish list is the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Vegan Powder. And this powder retails for $34, um, and it's new from Kosas. And basically what this powder is, is a super soft, sheer setting and smoothing powder baked with skincare that sweeps away shine, not glow, <laughs> and feels like nothing but looks like everything. At first, this product really did not intrigue me at all. It just kind of seemed like another baked setting type powder. Um, and I have plenty of those in my collection already that I use and enjoy, 
But then I saw like Ali Glines talking about it and I saw a bunch of people on my Instagram picking this up and their skin looks so smooth and like airbrushed and like around their pores um, looked really, really soft and really pretty and that is always what I'm looking for. Um, this product does have a natural finish and it's best for oily combo or normal skin and it's best used for like pores. What I'm after is like the airbrushed, like blurred skin look. And from what I've seen <laughs> and the reviews that I've read, this powder is beautiful for that. I do have a harder time um, purchasing high-end powders just because I have powders from the drugstore that I love and use and swear by. So this would be something that I would need to get on sale to make sure that I didn't like feel guilty about it. But yeah, this is definitely on the wish list. These next two products are the same product, just different colors, um, and it'll shock you again. I'm all about the shock factor in this video. <laughs> These are the Tower 28 Beauty Beach Please Lip and Cheek Cream Blushes. And I want two colors <laughs> of these. I have heard so many people hype these blushes up on Instagram and YouTube. And again, I'm not a cream product person, but from what I hear about these blushes, um, these are good blushes to wear over powders. These are good cream products to start with as a beginner. Um, so I'm definitely intrigued by these. I want the color um, Magic Hour, which is one of their newer shades, and then also Rush Hour, which is like a pinkier shade. And these retail for $20, which is a really good price for Sephora. This brand is on the lower end for Sephora prices, um, which is also obviously intriguing. So yeah, I want to pick these up so bad. They're kind of a more glowier product, which for summer and springtime, that would look so beautiful with my new KVD Balm Foundation. Like I want to try these so bad. And at $20, I don't feel like I would be out much money if I ended up not liking them. So these are definitely something that I would throw in my cart for the sale. All right, next on the list is a foundation. And God knows I do not need any more foundations. I have been buying foundations like crazy. Um, but this foundation is really intriguing and it's definitely at a price point where I would want to get it on a sale. Even though the sale, the 15% off is kind of a joke, but. The Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation SPF 30. This foundation retails for $47, which kind of hurts me considering my foundations are all, ye most of them are all under $20 that I currently own. So this hurts me a little bit um, and definitely at a price point that I would have to get some sort of sale or cash back on or something. But I want to try this based on a recommendation from my friend Emily, Emily's makeup bag here on YouTube. I've seen her talk about this so much and she has a similar skin tone and skin type to me, so I completely trust her recommendation. Um, and Shiseido just came out with this radiant version of this foundation, which is what I need right now. My skin is so dry. Um, so this is a luminous foundation that hydrates for up to 24 hours and adapts to your skin from medium to full coverage with a radiant finish. Um, it's a medium coverage, yeah. It's supposed to be long wearing and hydrating, so that is definitely what I need. That is what <laughs> all my foundations need to be long wearing. I wear my foundations for like 16 hours a day, so that is really what is intriguing to me. What intrigues me about this foundation the most is that it continues to adapt to your skin over time. So. Most foundations, you put them on in the morning, they look bomb, but by the end of the day, you all you wanna do is take your foundation off because they are so broken up and stuff. And the idea behind this foundation is that it continuously adapts to your skin so that it looks fresh all day. Obviously, it's not going to like stay fresh, like freshly applied all day, but it's going to look fresher than like a normal foundation, if that makes sense. 
at least based on what Emily says. I'm really relying on Emily for this one. Um, so I'm definitely intrigued by this. I've never tried anything from Shiseido. I have a hard time spending money on high-end foundations because number one, it's hard to find a color match, and number two, it's a pain in the fanny if I don't like them, and they're a lot more risky in terms of money. Um, so I do want to try this, so I definitely would put this in my cart for the sale. All right, next up on the list is actually a makeup brush, which I don't like to spend money on brushes. <laughs> I use the same makeup brushes every single day, wash them a million times. I just don't like to spend money on brushes, but I've heard a lot of good things about the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Foundation Brush, specifically from my friend Megan and Taylor on Instagram. I will link them below. They swear by this brush. This brush is a little bit pricier. It is retailing for $28, but from what I hear, there's no foundation like marks when applying foundation. There's a little bit of a slight um, angle, so you can get everywhere up into your eyes um, with no foundation marks, which would be amazing. Typically, I do prefer a sponge to apply foundations, but I am getting into my brushes again, so I definitely want one that is going to keep the coverage of my foundations, but not kind of leave those brush strokes. Um, so I definitely wanna pick this up. $28 is pricey for one brush, and it kind of pains me <laughs> to spend that much money on a brush. So yeah, I would definitely want to get something like this on sale. This, <laughs> these next products are going to come as no surprise to anybody. I have three of <laughs> the mini Natasha Denona palettes on my wish list. I have the mini retro, the mini love, and the mini gold palettes. I love Natasha Denona. I cannot spend money on De Natasha Denona, but I can justify the price of her mini palettes. Um, and I have seen so many beautiful looks with all three of these palettes, especially the retro palette. I cannot get over this palette. It is so beautiful. She recently released the Mini Love palette, which I don't have a ton of shades like this in my collection. So I would love to pick up this palette just to have some of those like mauve pinky, purpley shades in there. And then finally, this Mini Gold, which actually looks more green. I'm so into green right now. Um, so yeah, I want all three of these palettes, <laughs> $25 each. They are definitely the best way to try Natasha Denona without spending the Natasha Denona price. Um, these palettes are perfect for traveling, which not doing right now. <laughs> they are perfect for like everyday looks just to throw on. Um, they're just perfect. I love them so much. I have two of them right now and I love them so much. So I definitely want to add these to my collection as well. Alrighty, so this last product on my wish list is from a new brand at Sephora, and this is the LYS Beauty, which stands for Love Yourself, which is so cute. Um, and this is the No Limits Matte Bronzer. Um, this is a woman-owned, black-owned brand at Sephora. Like I said, they are a brand new brand. Um, and I wanted to try this because so many people have already picked this up and said that this is a phenomenal bronzer. I would want the shade Motivate, which is the lightest shade, and it comes in the super fun triangle packaging. It is a matte bronzer, which I'm a sucker for. This is supposed to be a clean, talc-free, buildable matte bronzer that sculpts, defines, and livens up the complexion with a silky smooth formula. I'm super curious to see how this compares to the Fenty bronzer. Um, it sounds very similar to the Fenty bronzer. Um, it is a matte finished pressed powder bronzer, which is definitely up my alley. Um, it has niacinamide in it, so it's not going to be as drying as normal matte bronzers can be. It retails for $18, which is on the lower end again for Sephora, which I'm always down for. Sephora's prices are getting up there. Um, so I definitely want to try this bronzer. 
um, and this brand too and I feel like this is a really safe product to start with definitely putting that bronzer in my cart all right guys that is all I have for you today I would love to know what you have on your wish list or what you're picking up from this sale down in the comments let me know because I'm always looking for like good products that I may have missed um, I'm always wanting to try more and if I can get a discount on it at Sephora you better believe I'm going to. So let me know down in the comments what you plan to pick up from the sale. If you liked today's video, please subscribe before you go and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me as a small creator get into the algorithm. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.